I first met Jane when I was an undergraduate student. I grew up with her as a as my academic superhero. As you've seen already, we've got a very special visitor today to help us open this incredible new building. Uh, I first met Ben Garrard when I was giving a talk in Cambridge and he was making money by waiting at tables, just like I did, to get money to go to Africa. And just a few weeks later, I ended up in northwestern Uganda, all because I ended up serving Jane Goodall's soup. I think you need a special good morning, and Ben can help me. We do it. One, two, three. <laughs> she documented animals in a way that we'd never done so before. She gave them names. She looked at their behaviors and attributed emotions and feelings and ideas that we held so close to us that it defined our species. And that was a big breakthrough. And that opened the floodgates for all this research. I'm proud it was able to change the attitude of science towards other animals and help them come out of this narrow reductionist way of thinking that said, we are the only beings on the planet with personality, mind and emotion. Because it really isn't true. Chimpanzees share 98.6% of our DNA. Animals are way, 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 way more intelligent than we used to think. And we're Jane helped us understand how great apes were these feeling, emotive, and caring beings. Hello. In terms of Jane's impact on the scientific world, Jane's up there with the absolute best of them. She really is. Who he is? Albert Einstein did his things with physics, and undeniably, Jane's done exactly the same with biology. These tardigrades. These are tardigrades, yes. Really? So, um, they are the most amazing little creatures. Are they? Yes, they are. They're just they amazing. really are. One of my reasons for hope is this intellect of ours, and science is beginning to come up with innovative ways that we can live in greater harmony with the planet. And also we're using our own brains to think about our own environmental footsteps and how we can leave as light a one as possible. I cling to the belief that because of this extraordinary intellect, we can and we are finding ways to live in greater harmony. Most scientists don't talk about hope. And yet Jane does. Jane gives that human side to the rigorous science. I truly believe that it's only when head and heart work in harmony that we can achieve our true human potential.